Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So I've got a very important job to do today. The doors need sealing, otherwise they can't be fitted. And if they can't be fitted, we can't do the reveal around the doorway and we can't plaster the wall behind me. So it's quite important that I get them done. So we better crack on. They're done. Well, actually they're not done because I need to do a second coat tomorrow, a third coat, and then turn them all over and do the insides. So it's gonna take me a few more days, but at least they will be done. So this Osmo is the exterior satin clear with UV protection. And it should stop them from the sun turning the, turning the wood white, essentially. Um, so yeah, it's the right product. They do other products as well, but this is probably the best one for the job because I don't want the windows turning gray or the doors. Um, the actual windows need doing in about a month's time. They came with a protective coating for installation, which lasts up to three months, but they said that they need doing before that three months is over. So yeah, I'm gonna use the same product as well. Inside, it should be okay, but it's mainly where the sun is in contact with the wood. On the front of the building, it's not too bad. On the back of the building, they'll need quite a few coats. So yeah, they're looking good. It's Sunday now and the first coat is completely dry. So now I can put on a second coat. But after this, I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do next at the convent. So once the kitchen's finished, we need to move on to the next stage of a renovation. And this next project is ridiculous. Absolutely, I don't know how to explain it, but we'll talk about it after I get this second coat on. So let's crack on.
So the final coat is done on those doors now. They look absolutely fantastic. They will be fitted next week and then I can do the inside with the same product and then the glass can be fitted and all of the rubber seals can also be fitted as well. But anyway, I wanna talk about what we're doing next year, the next big project at the convent. So the kitchen, it's obviously not finished yet, but it will be in the next month or so, um, was a big project. But this next one is much bigger and much more ambitious. So we're in the refectory right now. It's about 115 meters square, which is about a hundred, well, a thousand three hundred square foot. So it's quite a large room, and it's too big. So we're gonna we're gonna literally cut it in half, and have two rooms. So the room right behind me is gonna be a library. Remember that library that I bought? Well, it's going in there, and the idea that I have is a double height library. So, yeah, an ambitious project. So it would probably be a bit bigger than the one in this picture, but it will be a lot higher. Um, so the first thing that we've got to do is, from next year, is go upstairs, remove the walls, expose the ceiling and all the beams above it. Hopefully they're in good condition. Um, remove the floor. I think some of it's concrete and then come downstairs, remove the ceiling in the refectory, remove all the joists and then the main beam and then we'll essentially have one huge room. I think it will be about eight or nine meters high, which is almost the same height as the chapel. And we'll have to build a gallery out of steel using RSJs. And I want the gallery quite wide. I don't want it too shallow. So you just have to sort of squeeze around it. I want to be able to walk comfortably around it because it will be access to upstairs from this half of the convent. And yeah, so I've spoken to the carpenter about this project and he said, I'm insane, but yeah, he doesn't mind helping with the project. Um, it will be a lot of custom oak panels because the library that I've got is obviously designed for a particular room size and height. And this, what we're doing, is completely different to that. So um, I also spoke to Sean about it at some point in the past, and he said it was a great idea and a great project, and it's completely doable. Simon is on board with this project as well. So when Simon comes back, I think um, either December or after Christmas, he's going to be helping with it. Hopefully Rick's back by then. And yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's going to just cost a lot of money, but I think it's worth doing. It will be quite a nice statement room and yeah. I mean, this isn't going to be the exact design, but it's going to be similar to this. I'm hoping for a larger gallery and then the skylight in this picture won't be anything like what, we, what we're doing. We're going to be um, exposing the ceiling above the next floor and hopefully it's in good condition. So yeah. So importantly is to get this kitchen finished. So all the stuff that's in this room is basically for the kitchen. So that huge cabinet behind me, the range cooker, the fridges, dishwasher, things like that all need to come out of this room. So it's a big blank canvas for us to start this project next year. So yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. So obviously plans will be subject to change, but I'm 99% sure that we're gonna do this. So thank you everyone for watching this video today, everyone. And I'll see you all tomorrow.